Rebecca with Rebecca'sRoadmap.com and I am setting up my power sheets for the month of April and the year 2019. So I've got my May Designs for Blue Skies little folio planner here and I've got my power sheets that I sat and filled out last night. So we are starting into the second quarter for April, May, June of 2019, and she has got a spring tab. Um, and she, I mean, Laura has a spring tab in, in the power sheets. So there's a little clear the clutter checklist. So she's got internet clutter, um, like try social media free weekend, Get your social media feeds and blog lists, unsubscribe from emails, organize and simplify your computer desktop, turn off notifications that distract you. I don't spend a lot of time on social media, so I'm, you know, I need to probably clean up my desktop and do some email cleaning up, but I'm not really concentrating on that. Um, physical clutter, she says three spaces to clear out this spring. So I'm thinking to take these three into one for each of the months for this quarter. So I want to declutter my master bedroom, master bathroom, and my living room. And then heart clutter, three purpose-filled things to do when I feel lost in the comparison trap. Um, I try not to compare myself to others. I just kind of try to stay in my own lane and do my own thing. So I wasn't quite sure what to put here. But I had recently heard some poetry um, by Maya Angelou, and I wanted to read some more of that. So I put that down. I'm currently reading Habits of Highly Effective People, which I love. So I put that down. And I just put down Listen to a Podcast because there's so many good podcasts out there. I kind of just, you know, almost random play some of them while I'm working. And uh, there's always something good, always something to learn. Um, and the Decision Clutter. Um, three decisions that will help me have a clean emotional slate and live mo more purposefully. I'm not sure what to do about this. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm good with like physical clutter, know what to do with that. Some of these other things, not so sure about. So I just put about what I'm posting online, um, on YouTube and on my blog, and then, um, my family priorities. I, I don't know. Um, and the last thing she says is use social media in your times of connectivity on purpose. Write out a mission statement for how and why you will use them well. And then cut this page out and put it by your computer, which I won't do because I don't like cutting things out. I like to, them to stay in. <laughs> I like to stay where they came. They, they need to stay in their home. So I just said I would use social media to uh, purposely grow my audience and help people gain clarity in their lives. So, um... My word of the year for the next three months is purposefully, which I'm just carrying that on. I probably will keep that word for the whole year. And then I went back through and kind of, um, kind of checked in. Everything's going okay. Um, probably my, the best thing that's happened this year is my relationship with my husband's grown. We're having fun and doing things. Everything else is pretty much kind of where it was. Um, I restated the goals that I had already, um, and then I added the spring clean declutter goal. So these aren't anything that has changed from last, you know, the last time I talked about my goals. So I'm working on my business. Um, I want to be healthy, lean, and strong, and um, I pretty much need to cut back on my carbs here, um, and I've already started doing that. Um, working on friendships, working on my relationship with my husband. Um, we are working on building a container home. And then, like I said, spring cleaning declutter. So those are just little notes on the things that I want to do with each of those goals. And then we get into the actual month of April. So what's stressing me out, my fears, and what I'm hopeful about. Um, I don't really have a lot on my calendar. It's just Easter. And then I'm going to start the 100 day project so i'll put a link down in the comments below if you guys haven't uh or should say in the description below if you guys haven't seen that that is starting on april the third 
and it's pretty much you do like some sort of creative thing for a hundred days now I don't know about you guys but I do not have time every day to sit down and do something creative I should I should make the time but I probably will kind of batch these and do several days like maybe a couple of times a week or once a week I'm not sure but I'm thinking to make some little artist trading cards now I don't know if I'm going to take like the same figure and run it throughout or maybe like four or five figures and like run them throughout like maybe some little critters or something I don't know or maybe I'll just do that their training cards are just like you know the little I'm thinking something small that I could do every day or every you know frequently so if you guys want to join or if you're doing the 100 days project leave me a comment down below so i can check out what you're doing and i'll probably make a little video on like what i did for the week not like a video every day kind of a thing but maybe a little video at the end of the week to kind of show you what i did because that's sometimes stuff like that's fun so and to do's, um, I need to, I went to my Hobby Lobby to get, because I used to have the blank Project Life cards. I was thinking to use some of those, but they did not have any. Um, so I have some Project Life cards that I'm not doing anything else with. They're kind of sitting on my shelf. So I might just use some of the ones I have. Um, I purchased a Udemy course. I don't know if I got that spelled or saying that right, but I want to do that. Um, let's see, some research I want to do, the cleaning I want to do, or decluttering I should say. Um, I want to buy a new nightstand and I want to buy um, a new sofa, which that sofa actually may wait till I declutter the living room and kind of rearrange things. Um, let's see, I want to write some blog posts. I want to set up a couple of new auto savings accounts. I need to be more purposeful in my budget and I want to participate in some forums that I am a member of and I am not on them. Um, let's see. And I'm excited to uh, practice doing some artsy things because I keep saying I want to do that and then I don't do it. And Laura says, you know, <laughs> all those things <laughs> you've been saying you want to do, go do them. I'm trying. Try, Laura. Um, Let's see, increase traffic to my website, um, learn to two-step, which is with the dance lessons with my husband that I'm taking, um, and I'm, I've got a house plan, I've got a house plan laid out, but I need to sit down with my husband and make sure that all the things that we're, we've had issues with in previous houses that we don't have those same issues with this house. And then I just kind of, um, yes, did a brain dump on, on all the things I was thinking about this month, which all these things kind of just repeat. So um, my relationship with my husband, working on the house plans, um, savings, going to bed early, um, and being purposeful and intentional, which led me to my actual attending list for this week. So my little sticker up here says choose purpose over perfect. Um, my top priority, I'm going to work on arty stuff, being creative for this month. And my encouraging words for this month are phenomenal woman. That's me. Um, this, I was listening to Super Soul Sunday, Oprah's podcast, and she read this phenomenal woman poem by Maya Angelou and I just thought it was awesome. I was like, oh, I really need to go read some of her poetry. So anyway, I put that down to remind myself of that poem. And I, I just thought it was, it was very encouraging for women. So if you haven't read it or heard of it, go listen to it. Um, let's see. My monthly action items. Um, I want to start the 100 Day Project. I want to write four blog posts. Um, I want to do a couple of the courses that I talked about earlier. Um, Jane Davenport's Supplies Me course. I'm kind of in the middle of it. I need to finish it. And Udemy course that I purchased. Refine the house plans. And I want to build a little model 
um, of our house so we can really look in it, you know, and see 3D. Um, and then I want to do probably a page on my website with the 100 day information on it. Weekly action items. Weekly home blessing. I think I took that off of my, did I take that off last week, last month? I don't remember talking about that when I did my other video. Let me just look, because I'm curious. Yeah, I didn't even have that on my list for last month. I think I was so uh, stressed and burned out that I just like did bare minimum last month, which was a good thing. So I put weekly home blessing back on here. And I've already done my weekly home blessing this morning before I started shooting videos. So we are good to go for this week. Um, dancing, which that's important to me. Not only is it exercise, but it's spending fun time with my husband because, you know, we laugh at each other because uh, we can't dance. And uh, but I must say, even if you can't dance, you get better with practice. You may not be good, but you get better. <laughs> We've only had like three lessons and practice for like three weeks, but we're, we're getting better. Of course, we're fixing to start a new dance next month because they kind of rotate and do a new dance every month. So we're going to be starting from zero again. <laughs> Um, I put yoga and weights back on here because I really want to start doing um, something to build my muscle tone and then movie night with my husband every week which has been working out per perfectly um, let's see and then I have my don't break the chain calendar that works so well and y'all I ordered a calendar for 2019 and then they, they said it was gonna like take several months to get here so I just canceled the order on Amazon and I have not purchased a 2019 calendar for my wall to do my junk don't bring the chain calendar I really need to do that um in fact I'm wondering because I was gonna put this on my nightstand so I could kind of do my daily action items on there so I could be a little better tracking I'm terrible at tracking um Maybe I need to stop telling myself I'm terrible at tracking. Maybe I'll get a little better at it. But yeah. Um, maybe, but I need to purchase, I need to put that on my list. Purchase a calendar. Um, but I want to do something for Rebecca's Roadmap every day. Something arty. And then um, go to bed at 1030. If I can go to bed at 1030, then I wake up and have some energy the next morning. If I stay up late, like reading, which I'm like terrible about doing then I'm tired the next day and I don't get things done I want to go to bed early so yeah that it all starts with going to bed early for me so I'm gonna kind of get my planner out and see now I've got other things that I do want to do but they're not um they fall under one of these categories like I want to work on my art I've got several projects I wanted to do so some of those things then fall on the list in my monthly, um, in my monthly, in my, my weekly um, things that I want to do. So we are starting a new month for April here, and I'm going to kind of set things up based on my attending list. So my goals for April, um, it's a hundred days project. Right for blog post. Um, finish this course, which is another art course. And Jane Davenport's course is an art course. See how this art? I've got lots of things that I can work on. I just need to go do this. Okay, I want to refine house plan. And I'm going to put um, build a house model. I don't know if that's going to get done this month. It may end up being next month, but I'm going to put it on her anyway. And make a 100 days page on my website. Okay, so events, 
celebrations. Celebrations, I've got, uh, we've got Easter here somewhere. Easter is the 21st. Oh, Earth Day is on here too. But that's pretty much all I've got. Events. Put the 100 day project starts on April the 3rd. Um, don't forget, there was something I wanted to do. I just said I needed to go buy something. What was that? I didn't want to interrupt my flow with this. I didn't pull my, my thing, my planner out and write it down. So maybe it'll come back to me. Um, but there was something that I wanted to do. Okay, I don't have anything miscellaneous. That's pretty much it. Maybe I should put go to bed at 1030. Buy a calendar. That's what it was. Buy a calendar. <clears throat> I'm put that in miscellaneous. Buy. I was thinking I might buy one of those goat calendars. You know, the goats and trees. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is kind of my outline. The like the big things I need to get done for the month, and then I'll come back here and make a plan for my week and make my to-do list. I kind of, um, I'm going to say I want to do the supplies in class. Well, I'll kind of bust that up and say what I want to do here. Um, oh, I know what I need to do. I also need to read, finish reading um, Habits of Highly Effective People. I'm really liking this book. It's got lots of to-dos in it. Lots of things to kind of help help you help yourself. <laughs> and I just realized there's a big shadow across this page. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um, anyway, this is kind of where I'm starting out my month of April. This is my plan and my tinning list. So. I hope you guys have a plan for your next month because you're not going to get anywhere if you don't have a plan. You're not going to get the things done that you want to get done if you don't have some sort of system set up so that you remind yourself to do them. I know this from personal experience. I do. <laughs> so if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because why not? And as always, I really, really, really appreciate you spending your time with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you on my next video. Bye. Okay, I just couldn't stand it. This page was looking way too plain. So I had, to, I had some stickers. I thought I would share. They're cute little, I don't know, some sort of little space critters. Yeah. This little dog and the little astronaut helmet. Yeah, I don't know what they call those things. I'm going to call it an astronaut helmet. Anyway, these are Space Explorer stickers. Those little dollar sticker books that I like so much from Michaels from Createology. So anyway, I just thought I would show you how I decorated that because, you know, yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, bye.